Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jerry Seib. Moments from now, President Obama is expected to present his State of the Union address to an unsettled nation, a public lukewarm on the president's ability to get things done, and a Congress characterized by gridlock. It's a critical night, one that could shape the nation's policy direction for the next three years. Our first guest to talk about all this this evening is former North Dakota Senator Byron Dorgan, a Democrat who served 30 years in Congress. He joins us from Washington. Uh, Senator Dorgan, welcome. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. Thank you very much. You know, the, the early excerpts we've seen from the White House indicate this. The president's going to talk tonight about how he wants to work with Congress, but he will also act on his own and, in his words, wherever and whenever he can to expand the economic opportunity of Americans. Is that a good idea, or are those fighting words in Congress? Well, I don't know that they're fighting words, but every president comes, I mean, this is a great pageantry, this State of the Union. I sat through 30 years of them in the, in the chamber for a State of the Union address, and they're always well-written and well-rehearsed, but uh, the president will always come and say, I'd, li I'd like to work with the Congress. But the fact is, uh, things aren't working very well on Capitol Hill, as you know. There's very little cooperation, and the big issues that we need doing, uh, tax reform, immigration reform, investment in infrastructure, making our fiscal policy add up. I mean, th those things aren't getting done. You know, two words we're bound to hear tonight are income inequality, uh, a theme that the president's going to make the hallmark of this year. One of the questions I think people will wonder about is, is that something the government can do anything about? Is that something this president and Congress can agree on in, when it comes to doing something about income inequality? Well, I mean, listen, income inequality is an issue. It's not to denigrate any group of people, uh, no matter what they earn or don't earn, but I think uh, the country's economy and the, the well-being of the country is best served by trying to lift everybody up. And uh, we, we have a lot of people that need jobs. So there are some things you can do. Uh, the minimum wage issue, I think we should increase the minimum wage. Uh, there are some education issues and other things that we can do to try to reduce the inequality of income. But doing that means lifting people up. It doesn't mean punishing anyone. And can you imagine a, a Congress in which Republicans control the House actually agreeing on a plan to lift the minimum wage this year? We're going to hear it tonight. Is it realistic? Well, I, I think it's very hard to get anything through the U.S. House, anything that the president wants. I mean, the President Obama has found that uh, almost everything dies in the U.S. House of Representatives as long as he proposes it, and that's too bad. I think we should get the best of what both parties have to offer this country rather than the worst of each. But you know, there has been a little progress in the last couple of months. You know, there was a budget deal done at the end of last year. Uh, there was a, an appropriations package that funds that budget done earlier this year. The, the farm bill seems to be getting done. Is there a chance the freeze is thawing just a bit in Congress? I sure hope so. I think the American people hope so. Uh, and the country would be well advantaged if, if uh, things became a little bit uh, less contentious and there were a little more cooperation. But, I, you know, the fiscal issue, that uh, the, the agreement that was reached was really a baby step. But still, a baby step in the right direction is certainly progress, given what's happened in Congress recently. Well, you know, you've spent a lot of your career in Congress worrying about the budget deficit, trying to create some, uh, an atmosphere for, for some fiscal right. responsibility. Uh, has the deficit slid down the list of priorities in Washington in the last few months? Uh, well, I don't think it, uh, it has necessarily. It hasn't been discussed as much. But our fiscal policy is still out of balance, and, and we need to fix it. You know, it, it's just a fact. And at the same time, I think both parties should understand one of the ways to fix it, not the only way, uh, is to uh, grow the economy. But you need to do much more than that. But uh, both parties ought to, agree on, uh, ought to agree on certain principles that would help grow this economy. That would uh, address a lot of issues, including income inequality. Senator Dorgan, thanks for joining us. Uh, we'll get to watch together tonight. Hope we can talk afterwards. Thanks a lot.